Point number three, uh, a little bit of the opposite trend we're talking about. Retail sales and manufacturing data are reversed. Yeah, this so this is why we, we call this the opposite day um, version. One of the things we've been talking about here on this show is the inconsistent data. We've talked about upstream versus downstream. And again, just a fancy way of saying we've been seeing the consumer spending a lot, right? So great consumer sales numbers combined with miserable manufacturing numbers. Right. And so what's happening is the consumer spending, like they'll never have to pay their bills back or like the value of the money that they have is going to decrease, right? Inflation encourages people to spend now rather than later um, versus manufacturers who looked like they were getting ready for a recession and reducing their, um, their output. And so this week we got a complete reversal of that. Advanced retail sales for the month were down 0.8%, which was much worse than the negative 0.3% expected, making things even worse. Uh, last month, strong retail sales of up 0.6% were revised down to 04 So basically one third of last month's increase got wiped away with a, um, a, a just a, a revision. And then this month, retail sales were down more than double what was expected. Um, and that's, you know, that's not a great trend. Now, on the other side of it, we saw a huge reversal on some of the manufacturing indexes. The Philadelphia manu Manufacturing Index was at five. Okay, is that good? Is that bad? It's a marginally positive number, but here's the key thing. It was 16 points above last month and a huge beat against expectations for negative eight. So people were expecting negative eight, you got positive five. We saw the same thing in New York. The New York survey was negative two. So a slight negative there. All right, that doesn't sound great, but last month was negative 44. Right. That index went from negative 44 to negative two. It's a huge, huge change. So we're actually looking now at the same time as manufacturers seem to be saying, you know what, we, we, uh, we see the consumer spending, we better start producing for them. So it that perfectly matches the same point that the consumers say, yeah, we're running out of money. <laughs> Got mouse game for everybody. <laughs> it really, yeah, it really is. And you know, like it's it it's kind of funny until you're looking for an item and can't find it, or you have manufacturers going out of business because they produce too much. I mean, right. you know, the last thing you want, yeah, everybody loves to say we want lower prices, lower prices, and you do until the companies that make the things that you like go out of business and then you're left with something else.